Hello guys, I'm Yusuke from Karate Dojo Waku and I'm currently in Okinawa, the birthplace of Karate in the city of Nago. I'll be staying or I am staying with Higa Sensei who is a teacher from Shuri Shorin Ryu and I'm learning all about the secrets of Karate. My goal is going to be taking away 10 secret tips or I would say details that's gonna level up my Karate and your Karate who's watching the channel. So far we had one group lesson and one private lesson. Later today, we are going to be meeting him again for a second private lesson. So, let's get started with day 3. Everybody needs a good meal before training, right? So, I've come here. It's basically a Okinawa soba or Okinawa noodles restaurant. Very old style. Yep, they got all these foods, so let's check it out. I'm feeling a little bit intimidated of this because of this localness of this restaurant, but let's see if the soba is good. So the noodle was pretty thick, but not too hard and not too soft. Really good texture. Man, this was delicious. 10 out of 10. And then this is basically kelp. Good soup. Always has kelp in it. Really good different texture. The main broth was a mixture of pork and skipjack. And the meat was delicious too. Let's head over to training now. Alright guys, day 3 is also going to be at the same uh, gym or the same, I would say, facility as we used last time as you can see right here. So it consists of a basketball court, ordinary just rooms to do any kind of activities. And I think we're going to be using the same room as last time. So the main two goals for today is going to be learning about arrow like movement of your hip during your kicks and also learning about when to get your hip up up and then doing the technique and when you get the hip down and you do the technique honestly yesterday i had so much feedback that i kind of felt overwhelmed and for today i thought you know what am i going to be asking him today because he already gave me so many points what's the point of adding new things so that was going on in my head around lunchtime but um in the afternoon i thought you know when you don't have new ideas you gotta have new input you gotta learn new things to refresh your uh, you know points of view so I went to his YouTube videos I saw most of his videos and those two really uh, connected with my current situation and thus I hopefully can uh, learn those two uh, points for today so uh, let's get changed and let's wait for sensei あの、例えば、オーソドックスで構えて、右足で、はい、後ろの足で蹴るときは、こう、下から、こう、上がりながら、ここで、当たる瞬間に、また、こう、はい。これで、パンと。下から、下から上。ここで入ったときに、上足も、ここ
。ああ、サッカーやってたんですけどね。<笑>確かにそうですね。そうこうしますそうこれ自然の武器だっけみたいな何でだボール蹴るのと人蹴るのと違う<笑>そうですかえ左が難しいわけこれこれでこれこれこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこれでこ It's hard, right? It's been around a month and a half of just continuous experiment after Hika sends his lessons. And let me introduce you one easy drill that you can do to start feeling this. I'd like you to go into your sparring stance or any stance you feel comfortable in. From here,、uh, heel up. Okay, your back heel is slightly up. And as you get your hand back like this, like imagine you're in water, you're scooping that water to the back of you, okay? As you do this, okay, I like you to start the hip from the side and do this. Boom. Boom. Like this, okay? What you're basically doing is getting the hip forward as your arm comes back. This will create this stretch on your upper body all the way to your leg, like this. And when you do this, I like you to picture from the ball of the foot all the way to the opposite shoulder or your head as one. Bow like this, boom, boom, like this. Okay, so try that a few times first, like this, get the feel, and then continue that onto the back here, and then boom. You can do this with a roundhouse kick too, here, and then going in with the kick. Stretch, stretch, ha, like this. Okay, that way it's gonna feel a little bit different than your normal. Karate Maigeri. So, hope you can give that a try. で立ちましょうっていうふうにこう立ってこうやって練習しちゃうんで緩めていつでも動ける状態でつこうみたいな概念がなくなっちゃってましたね。もう全国的に作ったような、はい、なってるから。で形やが説明してるのこう突きでもかかと上げて落とすこれこのこれで突きなせるこれだとね距離がねえと作れないお口がこの。リラックスした状態から続けないとか、もう張ってないとか。ということは離れた前から放出するしかないわけ。近い近場では絶対的にショートだ。だからまあある程度は離れたら力あるのかもしれない。万能じゃない。こういう技術は。まあ初等班です。日本空手協会はやっぱり遠間が。でしょ。競技はそうなってるから。遠い前からバーンっていって、これで一発で決まればいいんだよ。Since I also grew up in the Shotokan long distance sparring, I can heavily relate to what Higa s e n s e i is saying. I am somewhat good at closing in the distance, tricking an opponent, thinking that I'm still too far, but I'm moving, zipping myself in. But when I get close, the variations are pretty limited. Hopefully, I can mix up Higa s e n s e i s short distance punches and also my quickness of my footwork in order to get me into a higher level. I know we're already past lesson 10, but the 11th lesson we learned was rotate your pelvis upwards when attacking and rotate your pelvis downwards when pulling or blocking. We're moving on to day 4 from here, and this next lesson might be the only way for you to learn true power. だから相手が
押してくればこれに合わせて押さえてるんだけど先にまた自分が動かすような気になる、はい、コントロールするこれをかけねばな機械は感覚ないでしょまあこれで腰の動きはでしょで相手もレベルが高くなればそうですよね本当に取れないですそうそう高いそうそう掛けも三つあるけど知ってる知らないです一つだね教えてください<笑>昨日やったのはい、ですごく違うのに。これもだいぶ一回やってみます。ここに出すぎるわけ。はい、ここで止める。ここに行くと。で、今、前後に動いてるでしょ。これをなくしてる。はい、ここだけ。この軸は変わらない。はい、頭の軸変わらないでしょ。はい、あ頭が動いてるから。はい、そう、今、今。今のこれこ,こ,これもここに引っ掛ける感じでここはこの点に集中できると思うもうちょっと力入れそう力入れてそう押すだけだ押すこれねみんな押す時だけ力入れるわけじゃあね大事なのは引っ掛けてこう引く時が大事この時に自分がこうしていくでしょ、はい、だからこれに耐えながらこう耐え耐えたら今は耐えてないんだって耐えながらそうそうそうそうそう、うん、こうはいこうしてやるだから今どっちかって言ったら押す時に力入ってるけど引く時に弱い抜けてる時に力入ってる、うん、相手の力感じないっていうかも出すというよりは、感じるっていう。うん、で、今、ここずれたでしょ、はい、これも。力が集中してない。まあ、いいよ、これはすぐでいけない。はい、で、もう一つは。縦に。縦にこういう。こう、こうして、こうして。こうして。そう、そう、そう、そう、粘る。そう。やつでしょ。きつ,いしきついしずれちゃうこ,この時に押す人の方が有利でしょはいだけどこれで合わせてこうくるそうするとこの自分の軸ができてくるこの状態からそうこういう動かすっていうこの練習しかしてなかったのでちょっと今<笑>ちょっと押しが入った瞬間にこうグラッとなってしまうっていうことですねそうそうそう組落ちなくなるうん、この組んだ時にそ,うですそれが重要なとはい組みもいっぱいあるんだけど教えることはいとりあえずはこれをそうですはいやってみます We've already had 11 lessons so let me help you organize your head Throughout the past few lessons Higa sensei has taught us that in order to generate power we must bring it up from the lower body through your hips to your upper body That's why we've been doing these drills, right, throughout the video. However, to check whether that channeling of power or whether that structure is strong or not, the kakie becomes important. Basically, that exercise that was covered a few clips ago, this exercise. By gaining the ability of you to continuously put the power into here through the pulling and the pushing, You are proving that your power is going on this point for every single moment of the work. Some of us might be able to move the body that looks pretty clean and well. However, as soon as that reaction from the opponent is added on, if you lose your balance, then you just look good. You're not strong. That's why the kakie is a very important lesson. After coming back from Okinawa, I've been training uh, with a partner as well, but mainly because I can't have him all the time, I would do it on my heavy bag. This one's pretty light, so the one that's hung up from above, I would put my hand, connect my hand like this, and only focus on my center core to move the back. I'm not doing it with my arm, and as I do this, I get a sense that the object is a part of my arm or my arm is part of the object and I'm moving that object via my arm using my core. This feeling has been nurturing little by little inside of me. I'm sure you can do this by holding something heavy too. 
and feeling that heavy object as part of your arm or your arm part of that object. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Please give it a try, guys. So the 12th lesson is use the kakia exercise to power up your structure. This next lesson, guys, please, please pay close attention. This is one of the most important lessons that I've taken away from this season. To watch the rest of this very important lesson, come check out the free trial of my online video course called The Hidden Karate Principles from the link in the description. Another crazy lesson. Oh my god, day three. I am so glad that um, I came to Okinawa this time. You know, the fact that he's able to um, just verbally explain the very difficult concept really shows how, how deep he understands his techniques and how fortunate I am to be able to have this chance to train with him. A lot of breakthrough moments for me, but um, yeah, let's keep it up for the day four. Thank you so much for watching. Please come check out my other episodes as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.